Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder Rex here back with more Let's Play Trials of Mana, and we have our new classes and we're getting ready to go use them. So we're back here at the Woods of Vondara, uh, I started at the entrance, because we really didn't get too far in, um, so might as well just kind of go from the beginning, um, and we'll get back to where we had been farming. So for those who missed that, how did I not actually take poison damage there. I should have taken poison damage. But anyway, uh, once we get to where we were, which is really just this next room, uh, this is where we had farmed the mystery seeds. So like, these mushrooms have seen more than enough of me. Like, ten levels of me, to be exact. Like, you guys are just not gonna enjoy, especially now that I've used all of these really fun ability points, and like, oh, I, I really wish I had enough. Let me, can I take these guys out first and then deal with them? If I could get, if I can get an, another, if I can get Durin up to 300%, oh, so close. But I can, I can try this one. I haven't seen, I haven't seen this one. So this is going to be new. So, Tongue Shatter. Oh, well that's just as effective. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and we'll we'll do uh, we'll do Charlotte's in the next area apparently. All right, so we've got a uh, treasure chest that's kind of hidden over here, and three gold item seeds. That's wonderful, and we've got a health base up there, and an item up there. So it looks like we can kind of go into the background a little bit, which is interesting. Because I say it's interesting because this whole how did Durin how did you get there? How? That's not how you're supposed to get over there, Durin. And treasure chest here in the foreground. I say it's interesting because this is like the original game. This was all 2D. So seeing a lot of these reimagined places in 3D is really neat, but then they'll throw in those odd 2D-esque sections, and it's a it's an even weirder nostalgia trip. Right, I felt like there was something there, but there's not. So let's just kill these these worms. The chop slap. And so that's just a single target, unfortunately. Um, I kind of want to wait for another group of enemies before I use Durin's, because his is great against the group of enemies. Um, but every time I, like, seeing that, the, the chop slap, all I can think of is the slap chop and that guy that, you know, did that. All right, hollow slash. It is... I was really hoping to get all of them in that. I got most of them in it, because they wandered into it. So, yeah. Now that we've used all these these points, and we've got our level 3 class, we're, uh, we're a bit... murdery. Alright, so there's two ways to go. Uh, we'll go the way the, the star is telling us to go. That's that's generally where they want us to go, right? But yeah, we're 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 a little murdery now. Things are not surviving our our onslaught. Uh, this part, the water, you can get in the water. It just pushes you back. It's really hard to run in the water, and it's it's like you're constantly moving. You can run in the water to go against the current. But the whole purpose is the whole purpose is to jump from up here 
to up there, and oh my god, why can I not do this? There we go. All that for a single fairy walnut. That was all there was. I love how on those sections on the map, it's really just our footprints, too. There's really no other section of map. There's there's nothing there. Alright, so we can go up this tree. I get $320. But we can't jump off this tree over here, because there's an invisible wall. We gotta go down. That's probably my only gripe with this being in 3D, the fact that there are really oddly placed invisible walls. Alright, let's get these treasures. Let's get this little cactus! Hey, little buddy! We are at 33 of 50, and I'm supposed to be at like 35 of- like I should have that- that next- next power up by now which is making me real uncomfortable. But this next power-up should tell us where we would need to go to find said uh, little cactus, because it should show us where we're missing. All right. Uh, let's also show off one of my new things, because I have Flame Saber Plus, which is the AoE version. Absorb MP. Let's absorb some HP because I want some HP. And I restore more HP than most of the enemies tend to do damage with a set combo. So I'm, I'm not super hurting. The only problem is you can only cast it in battle. That's my really only gripe with it is like I would like to cast it before a fight and run into the fight with that ability active so I can just, you know, get a first strike that's gonna get me some HP back. I can kind of understand why they don't let us cast spells outside of combat, aside from healing spells, because then you'd always just go around with, like, Flame Saber or something, rather than, like, taking time in battle to try to figure out what the best strategy is. But I was kind of hoping that that would have been something that we could have done. But, you know. Alright, let's Get that, and the rest of my team are just going to hang out below, because, well, there we go. Alright, um, hey, Charlotte, fix that, would you please? And I gotta go all the way back here. Where are my, where did... Where are... Th what are you doing? Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? See, Charlotte just ran off. Angela gave up. I can kind of understand why. <sighs> Son of a bitch, I did the same thing again. Alright. That's, you, you get to just be poisoned for a while, Darren. That's, that's... I don't know how long poison lasts. Still poison. Still poison. Okay, that... Damn, poison did a fair bit of damage. Alright, there we go. And, uh, oh, no, I didn't want to... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I didn't want to go in the thing. I wanted to get that first. Uh, Miss Plum's ring. What is that? Can you wear it? Halves wood damage. Okay, that's actually not a bad thing to have in this section. Uh, I'm gonna give that to you. It lowers your overall defense and magic defense, but because we are in the woods. I'm expecting there to be... I also don't know if this is where we're actually supposed to go. Like, do both of these paths... 
lead to the same place. Uh, well, let's find out. Is this gonna... No, they don't. They do not. The Chauvin Hoodlums. Alright, well, hey, I got healed. I know that that spot up above takes us to a boss. And hey, a level up. But I should probably also deal with this. Oh, also have a a new uh, combo that I don't actually know if I've managed to show off or discuss in the uh, in this fight. All right, there looks like there's something up here. You know. Yeah, there's something right over here. Treasure chest. Rich incense. And hey, we can kind of see through there and see that there's going to be more of those little crawler thingies. That's wonderful. Come on, let me out. Alright, where... Where am I? Okay. I was like, where am I? I have no idea. So, like, that's where I'm supposed to go. And I guess these two places will connect eventually? But I kind of want to get all the items that are here. We got a bumpkin from the pumpkin patch. Alright, kill you. So yeah, during this new, new combo, he does an interesting, like, flip slash. But it does a fair bit of damage. So, as ridiculous as it looks, I'm not gonna not gonna crap on it too much. Why can I not attack you? Like, why? Like, you you were, you were there. I could, I could see you. Okay, you guys are really kind of pissing me off with that just Sonic the Hedgehog impression. Because as soon as I go to hit you, you do that, and it makes it really difficult to target you. Oh, I how did I escape? Oh, and great, of course. All right, you are just needing to... You're all just needing to die. There we go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so it looks like this does connect up here to where we want to go. So if you didn't decide to go all the way up that first path, you could do this. Alright, so we'll save. And we enter a boss arena. Which is going to be a giant pumpkin. I remember this so much uh, on like early stills of this game. There were those uh, if, you, if you ever got video game magazines back in you know uh, really the the 90s or 2000s there were like you could import or buy this game if if you want like it was a weird weird time uh, but they would have pictures of games that you you know probably didn't have access to otherwise um, and it was really interesting to to see that because this was the still for second in Setsu 3 uh, your party versus this pumpkin monster and it was really interesting all right um, you are kind of pissing me off and I know flame saber is your weakness and I thought Flame Saber was your weakness. Oh no! What is your weakness? She's using it. 
Is it wind? Okay. Well, then we will fix that. Where is it? Where is it? Stone lightning. There you go. There. Now I'm just going to beat the crap out of you. And it's going to suck to be you. However, I hate this boss fight. Because he'll summon these, these weird little tendrils. And then he'll shoot out tendrils. And it's really difficult to get around them. But holy crap, we are just decimating him. And we broke his head, and Crosscut will take him out. That... That was an easy fight. It probably shouldn't have been that easy. But I'm a little overpowered right now. But hey, we did it. And to level up all around. Didn't do it without damage. I took a lot of damage in that fight. But hey. We took him down. And why is his weakness wind and not fire? He's a plant. Are we ignoring Pokemon here? Like... Alright, so he was... A Benevodon, apparently. Which is odd, if you think about it. So we're back at the wood, at the entrance of the woods. And we can see... All of the treasure... We've got all the treasure chests here. Wonderful. Awesome. Alright, uh, but also there's one new thing over here, because like I said, this is the entrance. Now that we've defeated our first Benevidon, our cat friends have arrived. And so we can talk to one. Uh, no, I'm Chiquita, though. We are related, so I understand meow or confusion. It's meow or nature as cat folk. Okay. Nicola gave up his merchant career and set out on his meow. Okay, I... Your names, or your your speech, are slightly worse than uh than them. All right, so we can get Balmung, Herald Sword, Memrod, Ghost Rod, Scorpion Mace, or Holy Flail. Um, I kind of want to get Balmung because that sounds Balmung. Is, that's that's a historical sword. It's kind of neat. But I'm just gonna go with the more powerful of all of the weapons, because that's what I do. I have the money to do so, because I had to farm a ton. I don't know if I have enough... I'm not Nic Yeah, I know you're not Niccolo. But she sells armor. So we can get plate armor, Leonus armor, studded helm, horned helm, gauntlet, knight band, flower suit, man and shirt, shift, cry circlet, silver circlet, mist pendant, flame flicker, velvet cape, glimmer robe, moogle mask, chubin cowl, moon ring, daylight ring. Uh, these don't really do any stats. I'm really disappointed that we're getting so much stuff that does not do stat changes. Alright, so we'll go with those. Uh, Nightband is slightly better than what I've got on Durin. Let's deal with the base armor for everyone first. Before we deal with accessories. Mostly because I know I've got some accessories on people that I've got on them for specific purposes. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of the one of each of these best items for each of them. 
but not equip it until I see what they're actually using currently. Like, look at that, a gauntlet, too. Like, that is a weird... Like, that's just, that's just a weird time frame for gauntlet to show up. Alright, so... Gear. Uh, I've got a strong armlet. The night band is, is better than that. Lamb bloom ring is moogle sleep, poison shrink, burning. And that, okay, so yeah, he's just gonna go with that. You've got the Mipsum's ring, but you don't need that now that we're not dealing with... Oh, you can also do... Oh, cannot equip to current class. Okay. And... You've got a moon ring, so flame flicker. So yeah, we're just gonna go with general stats. I didn't realize no one had anything on them at the moment. That's kind of disappointing. I think. A little bit, but hey, my new sword is a katana. Oh, right, let's, let's show off the new weapons. So that's a, just a, an interesting staff with what looks like a vine wrapped all the way around it uh, for Angela. I've got another katana. He has several katana weapons, which is interesting. Uh, and Charlotte's doesn't have a mace that you can see easily because of her height. Her name blocks it. So, okay. Sure. I do have some points that I can use, but is it really worth using them at the moment? Um, I may just save up a bit more, because there's really no point. Because uh, I don't have that ability. I don't have that ability. I'm probably not going to get any of those abilities. I do have Cold Blaze. I kind of want Annihilate, though. But I also kind of want all these other fun abilities. Like, that's the thing. It's like, if you want all of her abilities, you, you're going to... You're never going to get all of her abilities. Alright, let's call Flamey, and we'll go to the next area really doesn't matter where we go. This whole section is just kind of open-ended for us. Um, so I guess let's just look on the map and see where there I, I can I don't think I can start farming rainbow seeds yet. I think I have to beat several Benevodons before uh, those pop up. So, because uh, rainbow seeds are the next seed that we'll get to farm, that its purpose is to give us the best armor and equipment, or best weapons and equipment of the game. So, yeah. Um, I guess the next closest one is here in Frostbite Fields again. Alright, well, we'll go to Frostbite Fields. We'll just deal with that. Um, I will probably go ahead and end this episode here, and uh, we'll start the next episode in Frostbite Fields, I guess. Because, uh, like, I don't really have a ton of time to start a, a brand new area, but, yeah, we're, we're here. So, yeah, um, I will see you all in the next installment. And now that we have defeated our first Benevodon, all of the places where Benevodons will that we need to go for the Benevodons. How many more times can I say Benevodon? Uh, our cat friends will be here. And I don't know if they're shaking because they're cold? Or if... But right now they don't change what they're selling. I think they, they'll get better weapons as we beat more Benevodons. Because I just can't stop saying that word. Uh, so they, I think they will upgrade and we'll have, I think, one more set of, of equipment that they'll sell. Uh, both a low-end and high-end, kind of like what they've got now. I think. Not 100% sure. But yeah, uh, they'll be at the entrance of every one of the places that we go to in case you want to try to upgrade before going into a new dungeon. 
So yeah, um, I'll go ahead and end here, and I will see you all in our next installment. So till then, later, everyone.